You just bought the Sony FX30 and you're looking to find the best accessories to make the most out of this feature packed camera. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you my favorite accessories so you can have a more complete camera experience. Hey fam, my kapatid, Mike here. And for our first item, we have tempered glass for your LCD screen. Whether you got heavy hands or just want to protect your articulating screen from scuffs and scratches, these inexpensive protectors are a must. In addition to protection, I have the Falcom cage for the FX3, which also works for the FX30. The reason why I bought this cage was to have a little more rigging options since it's a full cage, while also having the chance to have a low profile setup. I have tried Tilter's cage, which was very nice, but I only wish that it didn't block the tally light on the front side. What I liked about all the cages that I've tried for the FX30 is that most of them have NATO rails on top for any attachment. I tried buying different size rails for the FX30, but in the end, the ones that come with the cages are the best. On top of my NATO rail, I often attach a small rig top handle. Unfortunately, this doesn't mount on the Falcon cage since they have a different mounting system, but you could either get a cold shoe top handle or just a small NATO rail to add on top of this Falcon cage. That is if you don't want to spend more for the Falcom quick release. On the sides of my FX30, I love having these Peak Design anchors, especially the new black edition. These are great for quick releasing camera straps, but they also pair well with the Peak Design clutch. As someone who doesn't often wear camera straps when shooting video, I greatly value this hand clutch for my cameras when I don't have a top handle and desire to have a low profile form factor. When I want the lightest carry with my FX30, I also like to pair with probably the best mini tripod, the PG by Tech Mantis Pod. Although we're shooting APS-C, aka Super 35, the FX30 is still a little beefier than Sony's average APS-C body. So if you need a smaller tripod package with a strong ball head, this is the one to consider as you can firmly lock it in place. If you feel cheeky enough though, you could even flip your setup upside down and use this as a top handle. Just rotate your footage 180 degrees in your video editing software afterwards. But if you're like me and bought the $1,700 Sony FX30 body only, you still want to consider getting the original Sony XLR handle. Thanks to Sid Vicious, I was able to find one on eBay. I just wish I waited for one of these handles to sell auction style. But nonetheless, I didn't have to try to return this camera and buy a whole new camera with an XLR handle. Since the FX3 already comes with this handle, many people are buying these cameras but don't need the handles that come with them. So fortunately for us FX30 owners, we have a chance to benefit from that. I've been using XLR for my audio for a long time now with the H4n, but now with the XLR handle, I have one less cable and two less batteries to worry about when working with audio for these videos. If you've got medium to large hands, you'll also appreciate small rig for making an extension for the top handle. The handle is already great, but now my picky has a little more room to wiggle. Another thing to note is that the back of this extension handle is a cold shoe where I can mount my Rode Wireless Go 2. The extension is quite handy beyond pinky space. If you're interested in any of these stuff that I mentioned so far, the links are found in the description below. Buying through the links helps support me and the channel and no extra expense to you. Before we get to the last accessory, share with us in the comments. What's your favorite camera accessory for your setup? If you're looking to keep organized without forfeiting style, Field Made Co. makes these premium labels for your lens and camera body caps. I got two for each of my FX30s and got blank ones for my APS-C lenses since most of their lens cap labels are for full frame lenses. If that's not enough gear for you, click over here to see how I use this kind of gear and more when I put together a rig for my Sony FX30. Thanks again for watching. Now go out there and shoot for the life that matters. See ya.